Our 2019 Angel Tree program is now underway and we're working to help 3,000 kids and 1,000 seniors during the holidays. And Central Florida is getting results this season. You guys are always so gracious during this time of the year. At last check, 3,100 angels have been adopted. And we've got a number of locations where you can adopt your own angel. You still have time. You can go to the new six studios here, the Mall at Millennia, select Chick-fil-A restaurants, and Sunny 105.9 FM. And then once you picked out your angel and you bought your gifts, return those unwrapped gifts to the same location where you picked up your angel you have until this Friday to return and that's extremely important to remember it's great you got your angel please make sure you return your toys so we can be there for distribution day the best day of the year to give those gifts to our angels we're going to now learn more about the angel tree program with new six morning anchor Justin Warmoth he sits down with Cap Captain Kim Chapman from the Salvation Army for the weekly this is the weekly on clickorlando.com with Justin Warmoth good morning I'm Justin Warmoth it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? And if you're heading out to shop this week for presents, consider helping out someone in need. I'm sure you've heard us mention the Angel Tree Program, a partnership New Six has with the Salvation Army to get results for thousands of children and seniors in need. Captain Ken Chapman with the Salvation Army will join us in just a few minutes. But first, anchor Lisa Bell has a recap of last year's successful campaign. My kids are going to be very, very, very happy on Christmas, and that's what matters. 2018 was another record year, getting results for thousands of local kids in need. Happy holidays. And for the first time, 500 seniors taking home new clothes, microwaves, and more. Merry Christmas. Oh my. That's all yours. Holy Merry Christmas! From kickoff to distribution day, Christmas wishes for 4,000 angels were fulfilled. It's time for our annual angel tree shopping adventure. Come on, guys, go shopping. Let's go. But none of it could happen without a whole lot of help. So, you, do you like that green one? I think, yeah, this one. Selecting an angel, loading up bags of toys, and returning them in record time. After kickoff in November, shoppers and our viewers spent 33 days spreading holiday joy. I Drive businesses jumped on board. Everything then sorted by a team of volunteers who make their list and check it twice, giving countless hours to match the right gifts with the right child before heading to their new homes. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And Merry Christmas. I've never seen anything like it. News 6 General Manager Jeff Hoffman says that's part of the magic of the Angel Tree and News 6. For every one of these uh, toys, every one of these bicycles, every one of you know, the, the dolls, you can just imagine the faces that are going to be on the other end of these things and, and how they're going to light up. And uh, that, that's really what this is about. Captain Chapman, great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Great to be here. All right, so if someone's watching this, they're unfamiliar, even though we've been plugging the Angel Tree campaign, we've been talking about it, promoting it, and really encouraging people to go out and, and participate. Tell us about the process from start to finish. Well, first of all, I want to say how grateful the Salvation Army is for New Six. Mm -hmm. You guys are community heroes, and you do a lot to help us. Without you, we would have a difficult time. So this is how it works. Mm -hmm. Uh, get your family together. Yeah. You can uh, go to an angel tree and pick out the tag, and the tag will have the name of the recipient, the sex, the age, mm -hmm. the sizes, some of their desires. Go shopping, buy the things you can afford. I think it's always good if you can give at least one toy and uh, an outfit of clothing would mm -hmm. be nice or some shoes. And then you put it in the bag, put the tag in the bag so we can identify it, bring it back, and we take it to our distribution center where we go through it and verify it and get it ready for distribution. Mm -hmm. December 6th, if you want to participate, December 6th is a very important date. That's when all of the angels need to be back at the same location. You picked up an angel in those, and don't wrap them up. I know it's hard not right. to. Put them in those bags and, and we're, good, we're good to go. Uh, last year, it was such a, a success. Uh, is there something that's, that sticks out to you, just a, a, someone who was just so appreciative? I know that there are so many, but a, a story that maybe sticks out to you of someone who uh, was part of the Angel Tree campaign and the program, and they really had a great Christmas. We uh, serve uh, 300 beds of shelter every night of the year, 1,000 meals, so there's a lot of stories. But yeah. one that sticks out from last year's distribution, I think you were there, um, a lady had... Um, come and gotten, uh, she was a grandmother who was mm -hmm. taking care of raising her children because her daughter is in prison, so mm -hmm. she's taking care of the kids. And she put on her list that the kids had never been to a theme park. Mm. Didn't expect it. Right. So a donor, 
uh, gave uh, that day, came that day and gave her theme park tickets, uh, vouchers for food, so those children for the first time can mm -hmm. experience one of the theme parks. And it was such a moment. Uh, it was given straight from the heart, mm -hmm. and it touched the hearts of the people that received. All the people that were around, I started crying. Yeah. I thought, I'm not, I don't want to tell on you, but I think you started crying too. I always do. Uh, this this <laughs> uh, distribution day is a, is a time where you, you just see the, the joy that, that this brings, and the joy it brings you just trying to help someone in need. Um, and it, it could be the smallest thing, and, and it just makes such a big difference in their life. That's right. Uh, 3,000 children, 1,000 seniors this year. So some people might be going, and they're thinking that they're seeing children's items, and then they see someone who may be 78 years old wanting a rice cooker and a microwave. Uh, that is also a big part of this, and they are equally thankful. Yeah, you know, that's something that we brought to it, uh, Orlando mm -hmm. a year ago, and it was so well received because so many, we have 319 elderly and disabled who live in the William Booth and Catherine Booth Towers on our campus. Mm -hmm. And many times they feel lonely, their, their uh, family doesn't pay attention to them like they should. Some of them don't have family, mm -hmm. and they feel all alone. So. This is a, such a great opportunity. When we give them those gifts, that is the best day of the year for mm -hmm. me. We do that the day after the main distribution, mm -hmm. throw a party for them. And they are so grateful for the least little things, a pair of slippers, a yeah. box of chocolates. One got a rocking chair, mm. a microwave or whatever. Uh, they are so grateful mm -hmm. and it just does your heart well. It also impresses me that this community is so generous mm -hmm. and has such a giving heart. Yeah, no doubt. It, something that I think is is really important, and we're really going to we're about to start seeing these red kettles. Uh, I know that this is really cool for you as well. Just starting this new program, kind of. It is. It's a classic red kettle program, but there's a twist to it now. So explain this. Leave it up to Orlando to do it differently. <laughs> so for 129 years, we've been ringing the bells and and doing red kettle campaign mm -hmm. virtually the same way. 129 years. Well, less stores are allowing us out. Mm. Uh, the time period has shrunk from Black Friday all the way to Christmas Eve. So we only have 22 days this year because there's a week less between mm -hmm. Christmas and Thanksgiving because of the calendar. And so we've got to think of other ways. People don't carry cash. Right. So this year we have some really cool options. Number one, you can uh, on our signs, you can buy with Apple Pay and with Google Pay. Mm -hmm. We also have our Jingle Jar. You can dip your credit card in and give a $5 donation. Mm -hmm. But we are starting a brand new campaign being kicked off on this very station mm -hmm. <clears throat> called Kettles for the Future. Mm -hmm. And what this is is virtual kettles. So with a virtual kettle, you go to the site. You would then get a virtual kettle on your site. So you'll have Justin's kettle. Mm -hmm. And we're asking a 1,000 people, groups, um, um, organizations, Sunday school classes to adopt a virtual kettle. If 1,000 people do that and raise $500, your friends, neighbors, mm -hmm. coworkers can give to Justin's kettle. Right. And it'll keep the count of how much you raise. If that is successful and 1,000 people do that, that's $500,000 of very needed money, to mm -hmm. $500,000 to help throughout the whole year. Right. That's what's important. And I do want to touch on that is that this money from the Red Kettle program, people think that it just goes right, you know, holiday season. That's where they think it, it's going to help people in need the holiday season. This is across the calendar year. This this sustains us throughout the year. Yeah. Of course, our, our budget is much larger, but this is one of our, our mainstays. Mm -hmm. So what this does is we when people come to the angel tree, it, what a joy it is mm -hmm. that we can help them to have that wonderful Christmas season mm -hmm. and everybody's joyful. But we want to get to the root of the problem. Why are you coming to the angel tree? Mm -hmm. What situation caused you to get there? So we want to get connection with these clients and say, okay, how can we help you get to the next step? So maybe next year you don't have to come to the angel tree. Mm -hmm. And these kettle funds help us to uh, have the caseworkers and the case managers to make that happen. It's called the Pathway of Hope mm -hmm. in the Salvation Army, and it restores people back to self-sustainability. Mm -hmm. How great would it be if someone was uh, an Angel Tree uh, recipient, and then a few years later they transitioned, and then they gave themselves to the Angel Tree program and see that full circle? We actually have a lot of those stories. Really? And uh, on distribution mm -hmm. day, you will be able to cover some of those yeah. people who, who just a few years ago were standing in our line and now mm -hmm. they're volunteering and they're adopting their own angels. What a success story. Yeah. Central Florida is the best place in the world for this yeah. to happen. And we know some of you may have fallen on some hard times and are interested in becoming an angel. Captain Ken Chapman will explain that process and the need for volunteers this holiday season. 
Keep it here. This is the Weekly on ClickOrlando.com with Justin Warmith. Welcome back. This morning, Captain Ken Chapman with the Salvation Army is here to discuss the Angel Tree Campaign, a way the community can give back and make sure children and seniors in need have a Merry Christmas. Before we continue our conversation, reporter Ezzy Castro shows us how this program gets results for thousands of families in Central Florida. And I wouldn't be here today if God didn't want me to be here. He knows my story. And her story was not an easy one to tell. With tears in her eyes, Christina Beaver shares how she managed to turn her life around when she found the Salvation Army 13 years ago. Everybody's rock bottom is different. For me, my rock bottom was I lost three kids. I've lost everything. I'm living in my car. I got arrested for stuff that I didn't need to get arrested for. And it's like, why? What did I do? Christina is a single mother and only has custody of her 12 year old son, Timothy. The two call the Salvation Army their second home. And thanks to the Angel Tree program, Timothy was able to open gifts on Christmas Day. Angel Tree has been, how do I want to put this? Sometimes a godsend because you can make your bills pay your bills, you can do everything you can do, but trying to get just a little extra money. Though this year, Christina and Timothy want to change things up a bit. Instead of receiving gifts, they want to give others the chance to have the same enjoyment they've experienced the last several years. Last year was the first year that he and I both volunteered at the Angel Tree Warehouse. And let me tell you, if you're a shopping addict, Shopping for those kids, making up their bags is the best present you can give yourself because it, it, it fulfills a need that you have. Christina says she wants to teach her son that there's a purpose in life and that anyone can make a difference, not just during the holidays. Help others. Put a hand out there. You'd be surprised what happens. You may think that, oh, I'm helping this person, but there might be a little, little something in there for you that you didn't know was there, and it might be the best thing ever. I, I know a lot of people too, a, a big question that I've received and, and that uh, the station has received as well is, hey, I'm really interested, my family is in, in bad times right now. We would really benefit from um, having our family on the angel trees. It, it's a little too late for that, uh, but how can they get involved maybe going forward? Well, it is late for the main distribution. Mm -hmm. However, in the past few years, this community has been so grateful that we normally have some left. Mm -hmm. So we will take up till Christmas Eve right. every case we can handle mm -hmm. until we give out the last piece of clothing and the last toy. We will be there to help this community. So, you know, if you get fall between the cracks, we'll do everything mm -hmm. we can to help. Can't make a promise, but right. if we have it, we will. But we also have a connection with United Way and the 211. Mm -hmm. So there are other agencies we can help connect you to if we run out of our resources. Mm -hmm. There's so many things. There are 5,000 nonprofits in Orange County alone. Wow. So there are a lot of uh, organizations, churches, and groups that help people. And a lot of times people call me at the last minute, hey, our company wants to adopt a family. If mm -hmm. you find one, we'll take care of it. And there's even somebody who wants to put a roof on the house of one of our clients. That is fantastic. And it, it, this time of year, you really, see, you really do see uh, the good and people really come out and, and restores your faith in humanity a little bit. It does. You know, we're, we're reporting the news all yeah, the time. It's, it's not tough. always always as positive as mm -hmm. we want it to be. And we, every day, we're meeting people, some of them at the worst part of their lives, yeah. the worst crisis they're going through. But what a joy it is when we have the resources to be able to connect. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the basic part of humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, in 1910, our family Founder William Booth wanted to send a telegram to all of the officers in the Salvation Army. And then we're in 131 countries now, but then we were like in 70 countries. Mm -hmm. So it was a telegram, so you had to pay by the letter. He didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. So he sent one word out, and that word was others. And since that time, the Salvation Army, that's what we operate on. Mm -hmm. we, we exist to serve others. Mm -hmm. We love inclusively, and we serve without discrimination. Fantastic. Uh, Giving Tuesday this year, we'll have a phone bank as well here at News 6, where people can call in and donate. Um, and that money is also equally important to if someone does pick up an angel and maybe something happens, they forget to do it, what have you, 
that money can then go to helping the angel that was picked off a tree and then not returned. And, and it's such a wonderful thing that, that Channel 6 does for us. Mm -hmm. So we're very grateful. And the good thing about this, it not only benefits, I'm, I'm the area commander for Osceola counties and Orange counties, mm -hmm. but there are seven other Salvation Army commands all the way up to Daytona and Ocala down mm -hmm. to Melbourne and Leesburg. And all of those commands benefit because that's your viewing area. Mm -hmm. And so they can call in and help all of those commands, not just in Orlando. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people do ask that as well. Uh, hey, I live in Marion County. I, I don't see an angel tree in, in my neighborhood. Uh, what can I do? And, and that's where you can, you can step up if you'd like to help out as well. Volunteers, though, are, are certainly needed. Can yes. you um, express the need for volunteers, both for the Angel Tree Program and the Red Kettle? Well, we really need bell ringers to okay. volunteer. It's very difficult to find paid workers these days. Our economy is so good yeah. that you know we, we, we pay $10 an hour for those people we can get. Mm -hmm. And we're struggling to get that. So volunteer groups and families, what a great way to teach your children mm -hmm. how, to, how to give to others is ringing a bell helps us a lot. If you can adopt a kettle from 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock on any given day, mm -hmm. you can go to register to ring or call our office and we'll be happy to get you hooked up. That helps us tremendously. Also, we need hands in the Joy Center yes. where all the toys are processed. So yeah. what happens when the bag comes in, we have to look through it, make sure it's age appropriate, mm -hmm. sex appropriate, and then we certify it for distribution, get it ready. A lot of times there's bikes that go along with it. Mm -hmm. There would be over a thousand bikes given. Um, and so it takes a lot of time. The organization of that is mm -hmm. tremendous. And so we need hands. Yeah. And that Joy Center, you can call our number. We'll be happy to put you to work. I love going back and, and watching the stories and, and seeing the video of just the, the, the production of it all. It is a well-oiled machine in there as they get everything situated, get everything where it needs to go. So the organization factor is so huge as well. Re uh, that must just bring uh, joy to your heart to see the, the organization and the way things move in there. Well, and I can't take credit for that. Mm -hmm. I have to give that credit to Captain Jesse Chapman, my wife, who yes. is also an area commander. Mm -hmm. And she is brilliant with that because uh, there's a real system to making that work. And think about it, when you have 4,000 different items going out, mm -hmm. bags and bikes going out in one day. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a whole, whole lot behind it. But it takes a lot of hands mm -hmm. to do that. And we welcome people to come up and help us and join us. They could even volunteer. A, a restaurant could give a meal for the right. people who are serving that day. So right. there are a lot of ways to be able to give. There are. In, in a time like the holidays where stress is so high and everyone's worried about whether or not they can get to something, get this for someone, uh, this program and what you will see if you do grab an angel and donate and make someone's holiday wish come true that makes it all worth it. Can you explain that? Well, for me, that's why I wear this uniform every day. Yeah. Um, I get up every day to want to help people in need. And this time of year, when most people are, are in that mode and thinking about that, this is a great opportunity because it's not just helping the people that receive the gifts. Yeah. You're helping yourself. Yeah. I mean, you know, you've experienced several of these um, the distribution mm -hmm. days and you see the joy. You're there all day. Mm -hmm. Y'all broadcast the whole day. We're grateful. Mm -hmm. um, but you see that it gives, you go to bless other people, but you end up getting more blessed yourself. And again, this Tuesday is Giving Tuesday, and New Six will be holding a phone bank for the Angel Tree Program. Another important date, December 6th, that's Friday. It is the last day to bring those unwrapped gifts back to the location where you picked up an angel. We have more details on those important dates and all the locations right now on ClickOrlando.com. I'm Justin Mormuth. Have a great Sunday.